What causes uremic platelet dysfunction and how can it be diagnosed? Uremic platelet dysfunction is mainly induced by advanced kidney disease and leads to a reduced formation of thromboxane A2 and increased platelet nitric oxide synthesis. These changes result in diminished platelet adherence to blood vessels, making patients more susceptible to bleeding. Clinical Scenario Consider a 65-year-old male with stage 4 chronic kidney disease who comes in with unexplained bruising and frequent nosebleeds. Although coagulation tests are normal, a platelet aggregation study confirms uremic platelet dysfunction due to his advanced kidney disease. Immediate action is taken to manage his kidney condition and reduce his risk of severe bleeding complications. Facts 1. Thromboxane A2 is a critical factor in vasoconstriction and platelet aggregation. 2. Nitric oxide serves as a vasodilator and inhibits platelet aggregation. 3. The condition is often seen in later stages of chronic kidney disease. 4. Standard coagulation tests like PT and APTT may be normal, masking the dysfunction. 5. Platelet function tests such as platelet aggregation studies can help in the diagnosis. 6. Management usually focuses on treating the underlying kidney disease. 7. Hemodialysis can bring partial improvement in platelet function. How to test for uremic platelet dysfunction? Testing may involve platelet function tests like platelet aggregation studies, which are more sensitive in detecting this condition than standard coagulation tests. Additional diagnostic methods may include bleeding time, clot retraction, and flow cytometry tests to assess platelet activation markers. Where to find more information? For more comprehensive details on this topic, please visit reputable medical databases like PubMed or consult nephrology textbooks.